In this video, we're going to be taking a look at an object that is pushed up a ramp with a force of 50 newtons, and then we're going to solve for the acceleration of the mass. Now, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and draw the forces acting on the 5 kilogram block, which is the force of gravity pulling straight down, the normal force pushing straight up perpendicular from the ramp, and an applied force of that 50 newtons. And then assuming that there's friction being considered, we have the force of kinetic friction opposing the slide. So the first thing we're going to do is break our force of gravity into its components so that we can use it in our formula. And we'll call those FGY for our perpendicular component and FGX for our parallel component. This 30 degree angle is always going to translate into this part of our right triangle. And then we can go ahead and do a little bit of trig to solve for that FGY and FGX. So let's go ahead and do that first and then set up our formulas afterwards. Okay, so what we did is we used the sine of 30 degrees, which is the opposite over the hypotenuse, and our hypotenuse is Fg, which is equal to Mg, Mg being 5 kilograms times 9.8, that's where the 49 newtons came from. And then we found the opposite end, the Fgx, by cross multiplying the 49 over, and we got 24.5, and similarly we did that for the Fgy, but we used the cosine of 30 degrees so we can find the adjacent side which gave us this perpendicular component. Okay, so now that we got our components, we can find our sum of forces along the y and x direction. So along the y direction, we have the normal force pushing up, and then we have Fgy going down, which is equal to zero newtons because um, the uh, mass is at equilibrium in the perpendicular direction. Now for the sum of forces in the parallel or x direction, we have 50 newtons pushing it upwards. Now, one thing to be careful about is although the 50 newtons is pushing it upwards, that doesn't mean that the object is actually going up the ramp. The only reason I'm sure that is now going up the ramp is because the FGX that's opposing it going down the ramp is only 24.5. If that is higher than the 50, then the object would actually still be sliding down the ramp, although something is pushing it up the ramp. So because the 50 newtons is the winner between the two, we know that we're going up the ramp. So I'm going to call this my positive, and I'm going to say that my FGX is in the negative direction, slowing it down, and we have some friction opposing the slide, the force of kinetic friction. That is equal to mass times acceleration. So for our first formula over here, Fn minus Fgy, if we add Fgy to both sides, that means Fn is equal to Fgy. That means Fn is equal to 42.44 newtons because we already saw for that a little bit earlier. Um, secondly, we have our Fgx over here. We know that it is 24.5 newtons because we found that earlier. And then for the force of kinetic friction, it is mu times normal force. Our mu is 0.3. So we're gonna do mu times the normal force, which we got above. Then after we combine those three numbers, we get 12.77, and that equals our five kilograms times a, and then we go ahead and divide both sides by 5. And that leaves us with 2.55 meters per second squared as our final acceleration. 
So to sum things up, when you're doing a problem like this, you wanna make sure you draw all of your forces and then break down your FG into your FGY and your FGX components. If you are pushing something up a ramp and that force is greater than the FGX, then it is traveling up the ramp. You wanna make sure you take this as your main driving force, subtract the FGX along with some friction if there is friction involved in the problem, and then you'll be able to solve for your acceleration. Now, if the problem is something that is moving down a ramp, then we'll just say that this 50 Newtons is not present. And basically what you would do is you would do FGX minus the force of friction equals MA, and then all the rest of the steps would be exactly the same, and you can solve for the acceleration moving down the ramp as well. So I hope that was helpful in helping you solve an inclined plane problem, pushing a mass up the ramp. Thank you for watching and listening.